Hey friends, welcome back to my kitchen. Today I am gonna be making for you my version of egg white bread Hawaiian sweet rolls. And the original recipe, of course, is by Amy at Carnivore's Angel. She is the mastermind behind the technique and the whole recipe. There are so many genius things in this recipe that she did, like using the uh, ice cream scoop to scoop the batter out to get the perfect shape. Also, I had completely given up on using fresh egg yolks in the egg white bread because when I had experimented with it before, it caused issues, it caused like the bread to sink, it got more of a memory foam texture. But the way that this recipe comes together, the fresh egg yolks give a really, really good flavor, it makes the rolls super soft, and it's just an all around great recipe. Now, of course, I always like to tweak the recipes that I make, I always try to make it as close to the original recipe as possible to start out with. And then from there, I tweak for my own personal tastes. So I've been playing with Amy's recipe and found a few tweaks. The um, issue that I've heard a lot of you guys mentioned and I've experienced somewhat as well is that the buns deflate. And I would love to find a way to make these buns where they stay perfectly round and they're like nice and high and beautiful. Um, I haven't found something that keeps them perfectly round, but I have found a couple of tweaks that help them not to sink as much. I'm also gonna be sharing a couple of options that you can use depending on if you want to use fresh egg whites versus all powdered egg whites. Both versions still have the fresh yolks in them because I think that's really key to the recipe to get the right taste and feel. But you can use all egg white powder plus water if you want to, or you can use some fresh egg whites plus less egg white powder. There's no version in which you can use only fresh egg whites without any egg white powder. The recipes just don't work out when you do that, but you can use a little bit less of the egg white powder if you wanna use fresh egg whites. And I will give the measurements for both of those options in this recipe. Here are all of my ingredients. Of course, I have egg white powder here, cream of tartar, allulose, and this is a recipe that uses a lot of allulose. So if you're looking for one with no allulose or minimizing the amount, this is probably not the recipe for you. There are other great recipes out there. Uh, beef gelatin powder, pineapple extract, salt, arrowroot starch. I just use a little bit of this, even though it is a starch and it has carbs. I use such a small amount that it only adds about I think less than a carb per bun in the recipe. I am doing the egg white powder and water version, so I'm not using any fresh egg whites. I will be using water with the egg white powder instead. I will still be using the fresh egg yolks and I'll be using six egg yolks from here. And it works out great actually because I like to make my egg white crepes. I have that recipe, I'll put it up in the cards, but I use egg whites for that. And I can make a nice batch with six egg whites, so it works perfectly to just throw those six extra egg whites into a jar in the fridge, and they're all ready for me when I wanna make my crepes. I'm also gonna be using a little bit of nutritional yeast, and at the end with the fresh egg yolks, I am also going to add dried egg yolk powder. And the reason for that is the fresh egg yolks actually have an effect on the bread that causes them to sink. And I think that's one of the reasons that people have trouble with this recipe sinking. But for some scientific reason that I have not figured out yet, the dried egg yolks and other dried like fat powders do not have that same effect on the batter. They cause the batter to sink more initially when you first put it in when the batter is still wet. But then once you bake it, um, it actually has a stabilizing effect on the bread, the end product of the bread. So it's a little bit tricky and I don't know scientifically um, the chemistry reason behind that, but one of my one of the ways that I am trying to keep these buns from sinking is adding the dried yolk powder and it seems to be working really well. First thing I'm gonna do is get my oven preheating to 350 and that is a little bit higher than the original recipe. I'm gonna be using a half sheet size pan and I have it lined with a silicone liner, but I'm also gonna spray it, trying to also spray the edges because sometimes the buns can touch the edges and I don't want it to stick. 
I'm also gonna be getting my uh, ice cream scoop ready. And this is an extra large size ice cream scoop. I previously have been using a jumbo size, which is just a tiny bit bigger than this. It's kind of just a tiny bit wider, um, but not. it's about the same depth. So I actually found that the extra large size worked a little bit better for portioning this recipe. If you have the jumbo size, you just wanna make sure that you kind of do a scant scoop and not a heaping or mounded scoop. Um, but I really like the extra large size to get exactly 24 rolls on my half sheet pan. I'm gonna be using coconut oil to grease my ice cream scoop. And this was an excellent tip from a commenter that has worked out so well. And what I find is that um, it works best if you coat your scoop in coconut oil and then stick it in the fridge until you're ready to use it. You just want the coconut oil not to be melted. So especially if it's really hot in your house, just stick it in the fridge and then it'll be nice and hard for when you are scooping your batter. Now to my bowl, I'm gonna add one and a quarter cups of water or 295 milliliters. Then I'm gonna add my one teaspoon of pineapple extract, 120 grams of egg white powder, And as you can see, I'm using the Judy's brand egg white powder this time. This is the one that does not have sunflower lecithin added. Next, I'm gonna use one third of a cup of allulose, and that's about 64 grams. A little bit more. One tablespoon of cream of tartar, two tablespoons of arrowroot starch, arrowroot powder, arrowroot flour, it's all the same thing, and that's about 16 grams, one half teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of nutritional yeast, and if you really love the flavor of nutritional yeast in your bread, feel free to increase that and add more and one tablespoon of beef gelatin powder, and that's about 10 grams, and any unflavored gelatin should work just fine. I'm gonna use my whisk attachment just to mix this up a little bit until everything is moistened before I get it started on the mixer. I'm gonna start the mixer out on low and slowly increase the speed to high and then I will whip it for about five minutes at high speed until it's very stiff. That is looking very thick. Now I'm gonna turn the speed onto medium and add in my egg yolks, my fresh ones, and then the egg yolk powder. And according to the packaging, two tablespoons of the egg yolk powder is about 20 grams. But when I was measuring, it seemed like more like three tablespoons. Um, so that's why it's always so important to go by gram weight if you can, rather than volume measurement, because it can vary so much. But this is 20 grams of egg yolk powder. Gonna give this a quick mix with the spatula just to make sure all of that egg yolk is all the way incorporated. My ice cream scoop is cold from the fridge and ready to go. I'm gonna try my best to get these evenly portioned, uh, 24 total, so four by six. Just barely got 24. It's so hard to get it portioned exactly right. And the last one always ends up looking a little bit funny, but that's okay. All right, into the oven these go, 350 for about 20 minutes. And I always like to put the rack just one above the middle because I don't want the bottom to get too brown too fast. Look at how beautiful these are. So incredibly satisfying. I'm gonna let these cool for about 10 minutes and then I will show you the inside texture. So what I like to do is break these into groups of six and then I put like a double layer and I'm able to store them that way. 
I always get asked how I store my bread. And typically what I do is once it's completely cooled and I have it all packaged up, I will um, store it just on the counter for a day or two. And um, oftentimes things get eaten up that fast. But if for some reason, um, it, after a couple of days, it's still on the counter, I will transfer it to the fridge and then it will last another, I don't know, three or four days. If you put it straight into the fridge after you, know, you get it all packaged up, um, usually you can keep it for about a week. That's what I have found. Oh, come on. So I like to just break these into these nice little groups of six. I think they just look so cute. And let me show you what the inside looks like here. So these are definitely not like the super, super tall King's Hawaiian rolls that you see in the grocery store, but I think they're a perfect size just for eating and for like making into a breakfast sandwich or something. Probably breakfast sandwiches with these is my second favorite to just eating them warm with butter. They're so delicious. But let me give you a peek inside. That's what the inside looks like. So they're not super tall, but you still got a good inch on the roll, so it's got some height. It didn't flatten into a pancake or anything. My dream would be to have a whole sheet of perfectly round, like tall buns, um, but I have not found a way to make that happen yet. I have tried. I did one batch of these the other week and I got, like for whatever reason, I, I don't know, whatever reason, they just turned out beautiful and perfect. And I have not been able to recreate it since, which of course is very frustrating. I don't know if it was just the level of humidity in the house that day or what, but when you're working with egg whites, the humidity is like the unwritten ingredient in the recipe and you just can't predict it, which is very frustrating when you're creating recipes. But either way, I think these have good height, they taste amazing, and they're super useful for all kinds of things, whether it be just dipping in soup or making sandwiches or just eating as a snack with butter. Absolutely delicious. Here is a packaged up bag of 12 rolls that I made the other day, and I just think this looks so cute. I could totally see just picking this up at the grocery store. So there is my version of the Hawaiian sweet rolls. You can find a link to the printable recipe down in the description. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you again in another video.